So one of my nonprofit clients wanted a little pop-up at the bottom of their website to appear towards the end of the year for a matching gift opportunity. A lot of nonprofits do this. This is a Joomla website, so we went searching for an extension to do just that. Hi, and welcome to OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin, and in this video, I want to talk about Joomla Shack's Shack Toolbox Pro. Now, this is an extension that does pretty much everything, including the kitchen sink, but for what my client wanted, it was absolutely perfect. Let's take a look. So, as I mentioned, one of the easiest ways to get a pop-up slider onto your site is with Shack Toolbox Pro. Now, this particular extension does some pretty amazing things, and it goes way, way beyond the scope of this video to explore all of them. But for what we want, it's perfect. I've downloaded the Pro version, and if I click on the documentation link, the page comes up and provides me with detailed documentation on everything that this amazing little extension does. When you install it on your Joomla site, you will get this screen. And you should note you're actually installing an older module called PWebBox Pro, and a whole bunch of plugins get installed along with it. That's okay. It is Joomla Shack's Toolbox Pro. All right, let's take a look at configuring it for the display that I showed you earlier. I'm going to head over to Shack Toolbox Pro. For this example, I'm going to change it to custom HTML, but you can see all of the other things that this module can provide for you. I'm going to paste the HTML in from the example I showed you earlier. Of course, I'm going to hide the title and put it in a position that actually works. And then I'm going to update the location and effects. And once again, you have a number of options here. I'm going to choose the left edge for this particular example. If I click on the advanced drop down here, it asks me how do I want it to show up. The opening event is a click or a mouse over. I'm going to pick mouse over, click to turn it off. The toggler tab position is where the actual tab will show up. Left is here, of course. If I put it at the bottom right, it's going to show up down here at the bottom. I'll leave it there. I can assign position offsets and layer levels. I can tell it how to auto open and close. So I'm going to say auto open on load. I'm going to say once per session. I can change that if I want. I can even add JavaScript on different events. I can track it with Google Analytics. Literally, there's just so much here that you can add. After opening, what do I want it to do? Do I want it to slide, slide in a sidebar, a light box fade in? Again, you can see all of the amazing options you have here. I'll stick with the default. And then how to display via menu item, HTML, and JavaScript. I can also look at different themes and customize the theme. I can tell it whether to load jQuery, use Bootstraps, built-in Bootstrap or not, and more. All right, I'm going to publish it and hit Save and hit Refresh. And here it is. Hovering over Matching Gift gives me the pop-up that this particular nonprofit used towards the end of the year. It's based on sessions, so if I hit refresh at this point, it won't automatically pop up, and it won't become an annoyance to the site visitors. And so sure enough, with just a little bit of work and a little bit of custom HTML, we were able to provide that pop-up that you saw for my nonprofit client, and indeed, it helped them reach their goal at the end of 2020. Well, this has been OS Tips from OS Training. Thanks for watching. Give us a like, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.